Do you remember where we were a year from today? Yeah, yeah, Fenway Park, remember, ALCS. Remember doing those we shows? We did the shows on location uh, at Fenway Park. It was great. And it, it's fate because McVeigh is our producer today. That's right. And he came up with the idea of we're close to Halloween. That's right. I remember this one of tape. our classic tapes. Astro Monsters. So, as, <laughs> dressing up as scary, you know, the yep. Mike Myers, the whole skit. Mm -hmm. So, Brendan. In craft. In craft is killing it. Zach yeah. Leckie on the tape. We added a few pieces because of the game last night. I like Let's it. Let's get go. into it. Let's, let's We're go. going trick or treat. <laughs> All face. right. Hey, Justin Verlander turned into Leatherface last night, throwing absolute chainsaws at the Yankees lineup. If they didn't get him in the first inning and the third, it was over. Once he figured out that slider, there was nothing you could do and kind of all wrapped up. He had 11 punch outs. And for me, right here, this moment, let me take you through a Donaldson Carpenter AB. You talk about bow your neck right here in the top of the third. Mm. Second and third, it could get away from him. JD gonna need you to choke up and put a ball in play. Can't go down on three pitches right there, even against Justin Verlander. And the strike zone was all over the place. Yeah, not a and good night. Justin night. used it to his advantage. That's not that's a strike. That's inside, and Matt Carpenter's like, I don't know if I can handle all these pitches in. And the one thing about this JD that I love, that's a little is that he is willing to come in and set the tone with that two seamer. So he's leather faced for me. He's gonna get a little R and R today. Chucky has got to stay child's play with Jose Altuve, and I know he is scuffling. He's Real 0 bad. for 19. Yeah. He's totally sped up at the plate. Jose, slow it down a little bit. Take something to right field, and you'll be right back on track. He's got seven Ks, but you know it's a matter of time. Mm -hmm. He lives for these moments. Yeah. Take you back to game six, 2019. He gets his 3-2 slider from Chapman, uh -oh. and we're dancing our way to the World Series. Okay, you know he's going to walk into a hostile environment in Yankee Stadium for games three, four, and five coming up here. Flashback to June 25th, where they wanted to, you know, steal his soul. He said, no, you don't. I go second deck. So I expect that was the first pitch of the game. <laughs> I expect him to be right on it. We're going to add the scream character. Oh. Yuli Gurriel is making people scream because during the regular season, he underperformed for this team, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But if you can hide him, he lengthens that lineup. And last night, in a 1-1 game, he takes Clark Schmidt deep on an 0-2 count. On a spinner in the middle of the plate, he had six hits in the ALDS against Seattle. Huge home run against Logan Gilbert. So if he's back, it gets really scary. How about Machete? Martin Maldonado, we're gonna make him Jason Jay Voorhees? He's Jason Voorhees, Camp Crystal Lake. <laughs> because if he's gonna waddle down to first base, <laughs> get the hips rolling right there. <laughs> They're down one nothing, bottom of the order. You think Tyon's gonna put him back in the dugout, give the Yankees a chance to tack on? No, Maldonado, but this is the beauty. The relationship he has with Justin Verlander and the trust they have in one another, you could tell this pitch to Matt Carpenter, they were going through the Rolodex. And finally, Ooh, they agreed scary. on slider down and in. Execution, unbelievable. Freddy Krueger last year was Carlos Pena. Right. It's now transitioned. Oh, it's Carlos uh, Correa. Carlos Pena. Yeah. Carlos Correa. It is now transitioned to Jeremy Pena. He has been phenomenal. 3-1 game, little hanger in the middle of the plate from mm. Frankie Montas, and the game becomes 4-1 and seems almost insurmountable, although the Yankees tack back on. He's given love to his mama. He's playing D. How about the cult classic, the Leprechaun? Yes. Uh, not one of Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston was in that. It wasn't her finest moment? It was not. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> For Chaz McCormick, it might have been his finest moment. He almost has his back turned like he is daring you. He will go oppo, man. And Jamison Tyone right there did not hit his spot trying to come, I mean, Clark Schmidt trying to come inside. He leaves it out over and he goes deep right there. He's having a huge series to get going. In the ALCS and Mike Myers, oh yeah, because he's the scariest one for me. Yeah, he's the one who gave me nightmares as a kid. Shout out to Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis been trying to kill this dude for 50 know, years. It seems like Ryan Presley. If you're gonna throw spinners like this, Harrison Bader took a hanger mm. deep for his fourth postseason homer. They had no chance against this breaking ball last night. So he's got a 1.33 ERA and he's seven for seven in save opportunities in 19 postseason games since the start of 2020.
So Halloween was back in Minute Maid Park last night. Look at the leprechaun. 